My name's Kerry Weeks. I am Director of Partnerships at the Jockey Club. We are actually here at Cheltenham, which is very much the home of jump racing. So we host the four-day festival in March. In terms of the Jockey Club, it was founded in 1750 and we are very much governed by the Royal Charter. So here for the good of racing, all the profits that we make gets invested back into racing and the sport that we all love. When people come here, what is it they can expect to do and see? Everyone comes for different reasons. Everyone wants to experience the thrill in different reasons, whether or not that's placing a bet and enjoying kind of enjoying the flutter and, and the excitement of your horse, either winning or getting close, or it could just be the general thrill of the day out and dressing up and having that social experience, or it could indeed just be actually, it's, it's a really fabulous experience to just enjoy with friends or in a corporate environment. Can you tell me more about the atmosphere on a race day and what someone can expect? The, the atmosphere builds and builds and builds the closer you get to the start, the off of the race. So very much before, in the preliminary stages, there's a huge amount of anticipation. Everyone's looking at their horses. Do they look well? You know, it's not predictable. So it is a huge amount of excitement. They're off. They race away then on the journey to fence number one. There's lots to see and do at the races, you know, not just meet the riders, watch the racing, what else happens here? There's a huge amount to see and very much depending on what the day is themed for. So whether or not that's family entertainment or it's, it's fashions, you know, the fashion stakes are being raised. Particularly at Cheltenham, we have an area called the Orchard, an area that is formed by luxury brands getting together and activating in their own brand identity. Um, and within that, they've actually created their own, their own destination for people to go to. And what brands feature there then? So we have Night Timber, we also have Boodles, and that's been growing and growing each year. Bentley, again, they've grown, they've actually cel celebrated their centenary with us a couple okay. of years ago. Um, we've got the likes of Glen Farkless, they have a cocktail bar, and we're always growing, we're always looking for new brands to activate with and build this area into something special. Have you had much feedback from the people when they're there? Was it a surprise to see all these brands mixing amongst horse racing? Yeah, absolutely. And for me, kind of the most um, reassuring feedback is uh, friends have come who aren't particularly into their racing, but they recognize those brands. They've got that brand affinity. They trust the brands that are within this luxury area. And they've very much seen themselves there. And that's allowed them to kind of go and enjoy the racing a bit further. And it's a really good central meeting point for, for friends to meet as well. So speaking of which, one of the brands that people might not necessarily think would be there is sparkling wine, in particular English sparkling wine. How, yeah. how has it been received at the races? Oh, really well. And I think people, you know, we're all, we're all very conscious about our carbon footprint and we all want to buy closer to home in many instances. And racing is there's a celebration moment within racing. Win, lose or draw, you always, there's always an excuse to... It's the atmosphere. Yeah, there's always an excuse to pop open a bottle. So it's, been, it's gone down really, really well. And... Night Timber bring their Routemaster bus, so it's a great focal point. It's very easy to say we'll meet at the Night Timber bus, and they've got a lovely area around the bus, so it's it's you know great seating, very sociable, and good fun. And it's part of just having a good day out, really. Exactly. I think part of the joy of serving English sparkling wine is you know at the Jockey Club we host three of the top ten sporting events in the country: the Epsom Derby, the Cheltenham Festival, and also the Round Docks Grand National at home at Intry. And so it's actually great mm. to be able to have something which is quintessentially English as well. Yeah, and, of course. And the quality of the product we know is, is absolutely up there and it's phenomenal. So I think Night Timber have done a fantastic job within the orchard. Their numbers are certainly growing year on year So as the popularity grows as well. And actually it's great. A lot of the, the, the other brands within, within the orchard will actually also be supplying Night Timber to their guests because it's a product that, they really, really, you know, that really resonates with them as well. Why do you think these particular brands want to work with the Jockey Club? I think the prestige of the Jockey Club and what the Jockey Club has to offer, the target demographic that we're able to unlock in very different ways. You know, we have something for everyone, which is brilliant. And I think it's also collaborating with like-minded brands is also a really big pull to, pull to the area. The Orchard sounds like such an exciting venue to come and visit. What's coming next for it? But I think as we go into 2023, we're already having many conversations with, with different luxury brands that we hadn't previously been able to engage with based on the success of the ones that have already been there and actually being able to tell their story. So we're always hoping to grow. We're looking about actually growing the footprint, maybe going up to a second tier. Okay. Uh, just making it bigger and better than ever. Carrie, thank you so much for your time. It's been lovely to be here on a glorious sunny day and to hear all about the event. Thank you.
Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for coming along. My pleasure.